the number of new applicants that we're seeing has dropped considerably uh, over the last 12 months in general, but really over the last six months as rates have really started to climb. Interest rates, home prices, and a lack of inventory are just some of the reasons that lenders say are why fewer people are applying for home loans. This morning in our ongoing Boomtown series, our Tim Pham looked into the history of mortgage rates and how much a Spokane home will really cost you over time. Sign after sign after sign. Homes for sale in Spokane. Despite what you're seeing, there's still not enough. There's not enough homes on the market right now uh, to be able to drive down the prices. Troy Clute, senior vice president of Numerica's Home Loan Center, says climbing interest rates are causing a trickle down effect. So a lot of people are on the sidelines and they're just going to wait until rates start to come down. Uh, before they put their house on the market. So that continues to keep inventory at a low. If interest rates are causing sellers and buyers to hold out, the question is, are interest rates today really out of the ordinary? Rocket Mortgage has tracked interest rates since the early 70s. You may be surprised to learn rates in the past have been much higher. In the early 80s, interest rates nearly reached 13%. Then, through the early 2000s, interest rates actually hovered between 8 and 9%. It wasn't until the 2010s when we saw interest rates drop to 5% and then to as low as 3% in the early 2020s. We have a whole generation now of people that that's all they know because it's been a couple decades and these people entering the market right now are not conditioned to to those types of rates and neither is the market. It's that's this shock Jennifer Henches hears from people coming into SNAP for help buying a home. We have a lot of people come into the home buyer education courses and they're all enthusiastic and when they start learning what it's going to take they get discouraged. The U.S. Census Bureau reports the average household income in Spokane is $64,000. For those looking to buy a home, that income will buy you probably somewhere between a $250,000 and maybe not even $300,000 house. This is the challenge for home buyers. New numbers from the Spokane Association of Realtors shows the median home price in Spokane as of September was $409,000. Henches says this means a household would need to make about $115,000 a year to afford a home. The house payment for that amount at today's rates uh, is about $3,335, which is a huge payment. It's not just the monthly payment. Over the life of the loan, people will pay a lot more in interest. The median home price in Spokane in September of 2020 was $315,000. The interest rate then was 2.93% on a fixed loan for 30 years. So over the life of the loan, you'll pay about $473,000 and then the total in interest is $158,000. Now let's look at September of this year. In September of 2023, the median home price was $409,000 in Spokane County. The interest rate was 8.6% around there. And then when you think about your monthly payment now, it's over $3,000. But here's the number that may surprise you. Your total payment over the life of the loan, more than $1 million. That's not to say they can't refinance, but it does make a very big difference in what they can expect to pay over the life of the loan. Lenders say you shouldn't bank on it and expect to pay the rate you receive for a while. The good news, homes in this market continue to appreciate in value. So I think getting in right now and buying a home, even with a higher interest rate, you have the option of refinancing later. SNAP offers home buyer education courses to help people navigate the process and connect them to down payment assistance programs. It's amazing to watch people get a home when they didn't think they were going to have a home, um, save their home from foreclosure when they thought there was no hope. Lenders say the days of 3% interest are behind us. It could be a while before we see rates like that again, if ever. Their best advice to home buyers: ask for help from a loan counselor and make the move when the numbers make sense for your budget. Reporting in Spokane, I'm Tim Pham, Krem2 News.